The same is true of Lupita Kirkland. At the age of 13, Lupita and her family traveled to Acapulco for her coming out party. When Lupita and her family checked into the hotel, they were treated to a concert just below their eighth floor balcony. One of Lupita's sisters recommended that they run to the lobby and watch. Lupita did just that. But unbeknownst to her, someone had closed the sliding glass door going back into the room. Lupita ran through the door, which shattered into sharp shards and covered her with a thousand cuts. I saw a lot of blood, um, like, like somebody pouring a uh, full hose, you know, full of blood all over the place. And so my dad grabbed me and, and he put me in the bed and he wrapped a blouse to compress on my wound. And so he asked me to, um, because I have wounds all over my veins, he asked me just to hold them so I could cover the wounds here in my arms. And um, I realized that I was gonna die. So I told my dad that I'm going to die today. So I saw my body in the distance and I was like in the room and I had the vision of my mom getting the doctor and as she was screaming and crying, and I felt sorry for her. I wanted to console her and let her know that I was okay. Even though I was afraid at the first moment when I was detached from my body, um, an overwhelming sense of peace came all over me, and I knew I was okay, that I was going back home, and I wanted to share that with my parents that I was okay, but I couldn't talk to them anymore. And I saw my dead body just laying there. And um, the doctor came and I remember him saying, oh my God, she's not gonna make it. I saw the tunnel. It seemed to be made of dark clouds. At the end of the tunnel, there was a, a light. At the end of that light, I saw the image of uh, what I believe is Virgin Mary. And um, I was reviewing my life with her. And we spoke about my mission in life. And after that, we had spoken about me coming back because I realized that my mission was not complete and that I needed to to go back. So finally, I was pulled back, like, with this um, uh, reaction, you know? And I, and I felt how my soul entered into my body, like, it was strong. And, and I was feeling how the doctor was performing the CPR. And I remember huge, the huge pain in my chest and, um, and all the pain, the physical pain came back to my body after I came back. And I was trying to get all the air I could into my lungs. Like I could not have enough air. And the doctor saying, she made it, she's back, she's back. Let's start stitching. The doctor had no anesthesia. So young Lupita was forced to suffer through the painful but necessary ordeal of being sutured with no painkiller. He had to stitch four layers in my neck and he started with the aorta and it was a very painful experience in which I was literally screaming and thinking. It was a mix of feelings between not wanting this pain again, like sad for having to come back. But at the same time, I was mesmerized by the whole experience. After I started to talk about my experience, I told my parents that I knew the doctor met my mom by the third floor. And my mom was like in shock, like, who, who told you this? And I said, I saw it. 
and she said no somebody told you no, no i saw it so they could not believe what was happening so i said i need to go back and thank him for what he did so we went back to acapulco a year later we went to the address and particularly but particularly in that address there was no house everything was like uh, an empty lot and there were houses around so we started to look around for him and ask for his name jesus or jesus i never found him how has this affected your life in the intervening years i didn't come i didn't come back the same i was a different person i was more spiritual and also i became a more compassionate person uh, concerned for others and feeling a, a sense of love. You're not going to die. This is just a transition. You're going to see and you're going to meet home and you'll be fine. Take all the love that you have gotten here in this world, world in just remember those beautiful moments and take them with you and share them with God.